Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at this next example. We're trying to simplify and hopefully and subtract these rational expressions. But where do we start? Well, first of all, if you take a look at the middle one, you have the fourth root of two. So what if I factor out a two here and I factor out a two there? Let's see what we end up with. So it's, that's kind of a hint that we probably want to end up with something times the fourth root of two. So this can then be written as five times the fourth root of 16 times 2, because that gives you 32. But notice, we know how to take the fourth root of 16. That's equal to 2, all right? So then plus the fourth root of 2 minus, and here again, I'm going to factor out a 2 and see what we end up with. So we get the fourth root of 81 times 2. And then I realize the fourth root of 81, that's equal to 3. And so now we have a path forward. So this can now be written as 5 times the 4th root of 16 times the 4th root of 2 plus the 4th root of 2 minus the 4th root of 81 times the 4th root of 2. Now I didn't have to do that, but I did so I could illustrate that here we can simply take the 4th root of 16 and the 4th root of 81. So this is equal to 5 times 2 times the 4th root of 2 plus the 4th root of 2 minus, and this is equal to 3, times the 4th root of 2. Multiplying this together, this is 10 times the 4th root of 2 plus the 4th root of 2 minus 3 times the 4th root of 2. Wow, those are all tongue twisters, aren't they? And now we can add them together because our radicals are all the same. So 10 plus 1 is 11 minus 3 is equal to 8 times the fourth root of 2, and that's the simplified form of our original expression. So you can see a little bit of foresight, and even if you didn't know for sure, you can see that you probably want to get this to be the common thing, and so we factor out a 2 here and a factor out a 2 there, and before you know it, you realize that was the proper way to approach that problem, and that is how it's done.